and you be well hot so um good evening dr night um we my name is Lisa Kanda and i'm doing ess 211 and this is my friend hot so nice nice good to meet you nice to meet you all um we're going to talk about the escom we are going to talk about escom and the energy crisis that south africa is facing Yes. Yeah, and everything that happened that in uh, that happens. Bad things to it. Yeah, yeah. So, um Eskom is um ma is a okay, you make up. Can we check the corner? Um yeah, yes. Okay. So, Eskom is a state-owned enterprise that is supposed to provide electricity for us yes. and it 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 contributes to 95% of the electricity that is used in the country and even in neighboring countries yes yes uh, yes countries that are around um that are neighboring that are neighboring like yeah. Roma, not, I'm not sure Mozambique, some Mozambique yeah, and Mozambique. Yeah. We, yeah we have connection with Mozambique mm. so we're going to discuss about the, like Mike is getting his but discuss on the so Kalabi. So it's Kaza uh Oh okay, Ima. Okay. Yeah, so three weeks ago we started they started after the State of the Nation address, they started implementing stage four of um stage four. No. Kalok stage one. Uh uh it better mean you only low shading. Good. Stage four, call after now. Yes, must yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? You doing after the state of the nation address? Call us. Call us. Pray us. I know she. You may like me to be looked at. Okay. Yeah. Oh, after. Okay. Man, I should want to hear. After the state of the nation address, um, we started experiencing load shedding. Yeah. Yeah, and during that time, the president actually announced that. Eskom is going to be divided into three um entities, separate entities yeah, yes, yes. which is going to be the distribution mm. the tran the, tran the transmission and uh, <laughs> 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 okay so you might generation entities. transmission and okay Okay, so after the State of the Nation address, the president mm -hmm. actually in, um, started. The after <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So after the State of the Nation address, the president actually announced that the ESCOM is gonna be divided into three different, like three entities, because it's currently functioning as a vertically integrated monopoly, which yes. means that they get to choose from like who distributes to the like from the generation of of from generating the electricity to distributing it and transmitting it so now they're gonna it's gonna be like more it's a it's gonna be horizontally de, like mm. integrated which means that there's gonna be a section that generates electricity and there's, there's gonna another section that transmits that yeah yes. and the, that's responsible for transmission and yes. the other one for distribution and you know like it is it is strange how like this this all happened you know because uh the our pres uh mr president mr ramaphosa you know he made the announcement during the sauna right and mm -hmm. then like and then like a week after and then we started experiencing yeah. load, load shedding. shedding and then like it's it's quite a coincidence you know mm. it's like it's like this is all like a political no, Politically, yeah, yeah, yes, like it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's like, yes, it's a politically motivated, politically motivated, yes, yeah. you know, like they did this, you no, know, like, yes, so, like, it's hard, you know, like, it, it's, it's hard to tell, you know, and yes, and yeah, yes. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. And I'll, like to prove that um, there was this uh, actually an article I read about how how um, during the holidays, Parvin Garden was like 
pressuring people that like the oh he made a promise that during the holiday we wouldn't we wouldn't experience um no shedding. Load shedding. And then like after um, after oh I read an article that was talking about how we have used up the diesel and we don't have emergency backup diesel because wow. like they tried to to keep people like they try to keep the lights going and everything like, to make sure that we don't experience load shedding during the holidays so like the whole saga of escom is like has it's, it's supposed to be a business and like it's supposed to be an enterprise that is separate from politics but like it's sort of being used as a weapon for people to for the politicians to like to push their own yes yeah, like to lure votes into yeah. them Yes, yes, cause no, like, uh, no, like, uh, no, like, uh, so the the division is actually so that they promote transparency so that each, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so the, the, um, the, the motivation for dividing, um, um, has come into yeah. a horizontally integrated monopoly is that so that it, each section can be blamed for their mistake and that like yeah, so like, yeah, yeah rather take responsibility. Mm, each section is responsible for what they do and then like it promotes transparency with like people don't like you don't know who to blame if it's just one giant body but mm. like if it's separate entities then we know that this section this this part is responsible for what they're supposed to do and then they can act on that and so like this idea wasn't actually it has been introduced before by president tabamboike and jacobs and like, yeah. yeah but like now it's much more like we're facing and like yeah it's, be, yeah it's it like we have to act on it now it's it's more than like we're not just considering it it's supposed to happen but you know the, like interestingly interestingly though uh our former president, Mr. Zuma, he also like had a suggestion mm -hmm. on the on our power crisis. Now mm -hmm. he suggest he proposed actually uh, nuclear power, which was which was no bellish back then. And, like yeah. it was no it was contested, and then now like and then like and then now like people are now like looking back at at like his proposal as a way out yeah, of, of the no shedding thing. Yeah. So like as a solution. To our Lord setting thing, which is like again, it's it's, uh, it's yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. Mm. So we're like it's, we're gonna talk now about what we think, what the problems that Eskom reported as problems. Because yes. Supposedly after today, the article that came out today, like they were they were like generating all of this to make money. Like and to favor some deals, which is like which is um, part of the problem of being a vertically integrated monopoly, which is like they were doing some shady deals to generate money. So these were the problems that they said that we were facing prior before this whole saga of like they were doing oh, some prop. Oh, yeah. So one of the problems is that South Africa is running out of diesel. And like with the whole province garden um, saga, that like they were gener they were using it up during December. So South Africa doesn't have diesel now to to actually keep up maintain. Yeah, maintain all of this. And then, oh my God. Uh, uh, that like a month, like uh, it pumps is low. Okay, my my Yeah, okay. Okay. After uh, oh and. After the water crisis, and I don't, I'm not sure if they're related, but like the other problem was that the pumped storage dams are low, and another problem is that we are um, after the after like before implementing, look, look, the reason why we actually started implementing stage four was that was because of the tropical cyclone in yes. Mozambique. So like we lost nine hundred watts wow, that were that's a lot. Yeah, that were, were not wasn't coming from Mozambique anymore. So that's why that's what they, they were saying were, was the reason why we started implementing. And and you know like uh 
you know, like I also like I also read you know, on the on, on some article online and uh, I think uh, it was I think it was our is it was our Minister of Energy Jim, or like Jim. no no actually like uh, Minister of Energy no I think it was our our deputy president where he said that uh, he play, he yeah, actually I mean, okay for the cutter ah. okay. Um, Oh, like uh, and like the the other thing is that uh, our our deputy president has has pointed out to the to the to to local to, to local municipalities mm -hmm. for supplying for, for producing low energy, which is like in turn puts more pressure on the national grid you now. So like it 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 it, it like it's a, it's a it's a pointing game for now because like no one wants to take the responsibility and like it if it would like really no no like maybe like it will be it will maybe like it will be like uh divided into three entities that I, I think like it will be much easier mm -hmm. for to like to point out to the root cause of this whole issue mm -hmm. yes and then there was like on the news i was listening to Ublum. he was he was talking about how um Eskom should go into business mode, which is like one of the um, of the things that they could do. Like, which is some of the problems that um, Eskom is facing is that some municipalities don't like are actually in debt and they're not paying the electricity. So, like for example, Soweto. So he was talking about how like we should introduce like restrictions. There are already like laws that are like against that, but like. We don't know how, why there's still no action being taken against mm, yes, these municipalities. It's frustrating, actually. Yeah, and like it, it disadvantages other people that like have to pay tariffs and mm. like very high tariffs for like people with, when there are people that are not actually making free. yeah an effort to get power supply, and then and yes and uh. Apart from you know, from that, uh, the there has been uh, reported generator issues. Uh, gen uh, like apparently, like not like the the generators are not producing enough electricity, enough mm -hmm. megawatts, you no, know, mm -hmm. to, to to cater for everyone. So like they and like the 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 what do you call this? The, the boiler the boiler tubes yeah, yes the, the boiler tubes has been have uh are some are, some, are, are leaking so like they have to be like repaired every now and then mm -hmm. which like which 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 explains the the load shedding we're yeah, experiencing because yeah. they'll be trying to fix uh, and um, the, the, the tubes uh, uh, energy expert Uplom was also talking about how we could we are going to we could experience a national blackout, which is like some of the causes are the boilers that are leaking, which means that like we're only left with three generators that are still supporting us, and but like there are also like risk involved in involved in that because like there's a huge demand, or there's a huge demand but the supply isn't sufficient, so like there has to be a balance between demand and supply, supply yes. for for the. Um, generators to keep up with what is happening like to keep on generating so like if the equipment keeps on cheaping then that like introduces more problems and more delays to like fixing the problems that we already have and like the another problem is that the, the national grid system is built was built for the during the like before the, the well, before 1994 which is like during the apartheid time, yeah. so like it doesn't support, like it doesn't, it isn't sufficient enough to support the current number of people that are in South Africa. Yes, yeah. uh, because there was less people then, mm -hmm. and like migration wasn't no, wasn't as big as it, as it is now. Mm -hmm. And you know, like you know, like the other thing is, uh, I remember like my uh, David Mabuza, you know, saying that, uh, saying that the current load. The current power crisis we're experiencing here is sort of a sign of growth, you know, which, which you know, which is kind of bittersweet because you now, like, it's we all want growth, but we don't want you know, like load 
shedding to be like a symbol of crowd, you know, mm. because we won't want our lights on, you yeah. know. When, yeah. Yes. Mm. So. And also on the Nashtem um, trail, talking about it, that it's built in a way that it doesn't accommodate natural, like solar and wind power, mm. and like so if the 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 voltage from the sun and the wind fluctuates so it doesn't like isn't built enough to the power lines aren't strong enough to to accommodate that fluctuation mm -hmm. so like if like that is one of the problems that we have been facing you know, yes and 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 you now like and and also like the 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 blame now has shifted from from the you no know, from the let's say like the national grid to like to like local you no know, power suppliers you not know, producing enough electricity you no know, mm. to 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 keep up with their well with like with the with the population you no know. yeah. so like it's a it's a it's, it's a kind of a it's a tricky thing yes yeah, to to really to tricky situation. It's a tricky situation yes yeah. Because yes, uh, we don't know actually who, who really yeah. controls the electricity you now. And especially with the like what came out today with that like with that that the whole load shedding thing like system yeah. the whole saga of load shedding and crisis that is was actually self inflicted and that they caused it like they were doing it for their own benefit mm. like the like one of the key problems is that there's a lot of um, corruption. And higher powers in, in both like politicians and the people that yes. are in are in ESCOM and then like there was this other article that I read that was talking about how the um I think it's kind of technologies that they they the workers from ESCOM sold it to their company. It's a boiler sensory like a software. Yeah, yeah. So the system that like was paid for by ESCOM and like Apparently, Carib Technologies was also like owned by Eskom until it left. But like the workers somehow were still in contact with that company, and oh, then so like it. they stole all of that. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. So going um, to wrap it up, we're gonna talk about like what we think are the possible solutions, like yes. to to like kind of resolve what we're facing. Not resolve, but like maybe like have long term. Benefits. Benefits. Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no. Like I think, like the the first no solution would be like to turn into 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 green energy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think like green energy would do us better. Mm. You know, cause cause uh cause now cause no like see now I remember now cause now uh apparently like the the, the coals in 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 Pumalanga uh mm. they. The they take long to burn. Yeah, so, and the so like it, yeah, it's very low. It's and actually, on the news, we saw the picture of the yeah, like, it's yeah, like the like like rocks. rocks, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's just <laughs> so uh, yes, it's, it's that. Uh, so like the the coals they take long to burn, which like which extends the process, which like mm. which also puts more pressure on the, on the boiler yeah. tubes now, and mm. then they leak now because it's all too much yeah. for them to handle, you know. So hence like the generator failure. So I think like going to green energy, energy, I think it will do us better and like also avoid you no know, uh this uh pollution caused by coal because yeah. coal is too much to the environment, especially Pumalang has been is actually like one of the world's most populating yeah. populated towns or yeah. locations and like south africa isn't hasn't acted up on the on their on their hasn't held up their part the their end on the ipcc agreement you know. so like we like bah, okay, no, so no. also like south africa hasn't been all holding up its end of the bargain on the ipcc conferences agreement so like like going green is a, a way of like trying to as a way of improving the electricity and uh, the crisis that we're facing and also like trying to bettering the world not only you no know, it doesn't only benefit us but it also benefits like they in the long it. run yeah and the TED talk that we watched was like was talking about how we have 
like enough solar energy and the and we have great winds over the ocean enough to sustain and actually um, have we could have a good enough, enough. Uh, enough power to support us and we just improve the power lines that so that they accommodate the 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 power supply the, the power supply from the the sun and the wind yes. and the other one we was that we have so then like inf infrastructure basically yeah we have to improve uh, infrastructure. infrastructure yes to support these people i know like even like more more power stations will um, do us better you know yeah. to have more power station and like maybe like to to maybe like divide like the national grid now at once and then like let's say like each region has its own power grid mm -hmm. its own region grid mm -hmm. you know so that we know that if like that region is struggling with power it's, a, it's their own baby you mustn't be affected yeah but yeah that's no uh, uh -huh. a rough uh, a solution yeah. Yeah, yeah and the other mm -hmm. one like which is a big part which is like could be like removing the political um, yeah influence on the on the problem like we shouldn't i think like politicians should like be politicians and not like like um electricity is a basic like it's a fundamental need and like they shouldn't use it to so that they can gain something and all of that like it should be a business that is like strictly runs like and follows the laws of the business and not like influenced by people by, by, by politicians like, yeah but like, like, like you no know, like they use it their own way now their mm -hmm. own way you no know, like they 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 like they, they use it to, they get, use it to, to get votes mm -hmm. you know like it's like they're using yes it's a it has become a weapon for pollution really like yeah. as commerce has become so like i think like that would like suggest that like as com be Private. A private, yeah, yeah, a private, I think that would, yeah. That, that's what it's, it's such as. Because mm -hmm. if like we exclude politicians, it is like it is no longer state-owned. Yeah. So which means like it's a privatized now, which yeah. is like, which is like it would maybe improve our conditions. Yes, yes, it would maybe improve our, our conditions. Uh, given that you now we try it out, because currently now. The politicians are just yeah. using as com as, as a, a as a bait for them or like as the 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 I don't know because yeah. Yeah. And then you go to bed. I think this could be a good interference can only pick up and privatize it. Should you substitute? And, and there's a subsidy which is under subsidy. Subsidy like go subsidizer. Subsidizer u Landuga u Landuga? Yeah. Usually subsidy. Landuga it tweezer is subsidy ka no tweezer. Oh okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. So and with like breaking up like with privatizing it, like turning it from a state owned enterprise to a private yeah. like a private company. Yeah. Like they could like after breaking up into the three entities they could be like subsidize yeah, their yeah. boards and so that they can be you like more efficient. Yeah, 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 yeah. And do everything on their own. Yes. Yeah. So that is all we have to yes. talk about and have to say that is like what we share. Our experiences, like Oh yes, Castetangas. And the and the they But yeah. Okay, Oh, okay. That like that was all we have to know, to say about what we know about, about uh, yeah. the political stuff. Okay, okay, man, 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 sure about him, but okay, no matter, she ban out, okay, we like, uh, Eland Escom hasn't only affected the business, but like it has also, low shading has affected our daily oh, lives. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. 
Okay. So, um, as this whole escom problem and everything that is happening with women load shedding, like, isn't only like. A, uh, a problem to the people that are in, are in higher power like it also has